guys, today we are going to talk about one of the oldest cheats I've seen at Competitive Magic. This is a cheat that I first learned about in around 2002 or 2004 with a very famous Japanese Magic player who would shuffle his deck and manipulate it and then hand it to his opponent. His opponent would cut it because they really don't know what's going on. He would call Judge and say, hey, this opponent manipulated my deck. And then the judge would roll on that famous Japanese player's behalf and giving a game loss or a warning to the confused opponent. So this is a new version of it. Kent pretty much, um, the opponent plays Frank, plays Rest in Peace against a dredge deck. Kent is playing a dredge deck. Rest in Peace is very OP against a dredge. The opponent sees Kent removing his graveyard. The opponent doesn't mention the trigger because he sees Kent removing Graveyard and this seems to be a game action in response to a trigger. And this is what we all, when we play on Friday Night Magic, sometimes you don't have to announce a trigger if you see the action being made. So in the video, which I'll show you later, you can see him taking the card out of the Graveyard, putting in Exile, and then putting back the card from Exile back into the Graveyard. The opponent is busy and Kent brings his graveyard back from exile. His opponent realizes Kent has the, his graveyard back. He doesn't know what's going on. A judge is called and Kent is allowed to keep his graveyard because Frank didn't, and the person with the rest in peace, did not announce the trigger after watching Kent remove his graveyard. It is one of the trickiest and one of the uh, luckily, they caught this in video, but I can see this at Friday Night Magic. I can see this at a professional event, a high-level GP, if the camera is not on, and it will work because that's what this famous Japanese player has done for a very long time. For zero. So you can see this, two land. Well, I he picked up rest Here goes the, the rest in peace. Presumably keeping Watch the left, Kent lands. removes the card All right. He's from got enough to XL, and then he puts it back because you know, he notices his opponent turn one, two, or three with has a notice. Reasonable with now he's going to argue, hey, you missed the trigger. The rest in peace. He'll call a judge, We've judge will say, hey, Kent, you're correct. He did miss the trigger. And Frank, hey, you shouldn't have done that. Yeah, so it's going to really depend on it's what so Walls important is able to do. It's so important, and Kent obviously knows it's so important to have that card in his graveyard. So pretty much, I mean, whatever you can say, there's always new creative ways that people are finding to cheat, but the basis making your opponent. Imagine this at FNM, imagine this at pre-release. How crappy would you be if you were Frank, right? How crappy would you feel if you were Frank? And your opponent had just done this to you and then everyone thinks you're the bad guy and the judge claims that hey you did miss your trigger what were you talking about well luckily they caught this on video there's so many times it's not caught on video so just be very careful guys be extremely careful because i don't know what it is about this game but a lot of people do cheat at it anyway bye guys